Over 3,000 years ago, Santorini's volcano erupted, leaving behind a massive crater and a devastated civilization. Today, Santorini attracts millions of tourists from all over the world, who gather each evening to witness its legendary sunsets. Underwater, Santorini has a very dramatic seascape, steep walls, caves, seagrass meadows, but very few fish. It's like a beautiful theater, but all the actors are gone. A few octopus remain with less predators and hide from humans in their gardens of rock. The last lone creatures we encounter here are a pale reflection of how the sea used to be. In the past century, overfishing, climate change, and pollution have left only 10% of the large fish in today's ocean. Santorini is no exception to this sobering fact. The impacts of tourism and the ever-growing demand for fish further endangers marine life in these crystal clear waters. Most of the fish served in restaurants are in fact not even from the Mediterranean and must be imported to meet the growing demand. Like Santorini, our planet is an island and the constant impacts of seven billion people consuming resources is driving nature to the brink. When I first came here, 10 years ago, as a dive master, I wondered, what can be done? How can we leave one place on Earth protected for future generations? Creating a marine protected area, a sanctuary on Santorini, emerged as a solution. It was the beginning of a quest to heal the sea. This year, I returned to Santorini once again with several missions. I can see the divers. I can see their bottles. They're about 10 meters below us, working on the net. The scout is showing up. What these nets look like underwater. They're going to start the lifting operation soon. These guys have done an amazing job at collecting this net. I can see this whole net coming up all around me, very slowly. Setting it right back up to the surface where it came from. Abandoned fishing gear represents a major threat to marine life. We removed one massive net from the seabed of Santorini by joining forces with Healthy Seas, Ghost Fishing, Atlantis Dive Center, and local fishermen. Its nylon will later be regenerated using a novel recycling method in Slovenia. But the cost of cleaning, shipping, and sorting the lost nets do not yet make this a commercially viable solution outside of its specific use for the aquaculture industry. Back on Santorini, together with two volunteer engineers, Brad Bazemore and Brendan Walters, we are developing a new technology to take the temperature of the ocean, Project Hermes. The temperatures of the ocean and how they vary at the scale of the ecosystem remain largely unknown to science today. These devices capture both depth and temperature at high accuracy to supplement existing satellite data. We're trying to better understand how climate change is affecting our coastal ecosystem in collaboration with divers all across the world. Any diver at any skill level can strap this on to their, their gear and then we'll just automatically collect the data from them as soon as their dive is done. The project of creating a marine sanctuary in Santorini has progressed well throughout the years. And today, local champions spearhead the effort. Over the last four years, conservationists, along with fishermen, um, local stakeholders, divers, as well as local inhabitants of the island, have formed an alliance and request the establishment of an MPA surrounding the waters of Santorini. 
Yes, we think that we have a very good area. I mean, uh, an area that is very rich in uh, both habitat and species diversity. And uh, of course, this area is um, even uh, better because we have people that have consented uh, to its creation. And we believe that this can really work and make a change for Sandorini and the rest of Greece. Εγώ όμως δεν τις λέω προστατευόμενες περιοχές, τις λέω μιευτήρια, που είναι σαν τις γυναίκες που γεννάνε και υπάρχει, βγαίνουν τα παιδιά και υπάρχει πολυκοσμία. Έτσι λοιπόν, όταν κάνουμε την προστατευόμενη περιοχή εδώ στη Σαντορίνη και δεν ψαρεύεται, ευκολονόητο είναι ότι θα γεμίσει ψάρια η θάλασσα. I think the project is essential for the sustainable future of um, this island and, and uh, Greece as a whole. The Cycladis Preservation Fund totally supports the creation of an MPA in Santorini. As we are in contact with many fishermen across the Cycladis Islands and everybody's waiting for it. I mean, it's going to be a domino effect. I think we can do the only thing we can do is to protect our sea, to protect our fish, to protect Sandorini. I think. We have, Sandorini is unique. We have to establish a marine protected area that everybody wants, even the fishermen wants, to do a marine protected area, to see our kids more fish in the sea, because it's less and less.